Oh, is that how I take a picture with that little circle thing? Yeah. Oh. Guest of the day, you might have heard this guy for the first time on a show called Saturday Night Live. Then he had his own late night talk show, and he's now the amazing and funny host of the Tonight Show. So here he is, my friend, Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy. Oh, hey there. You made it. Welcome to the Universal Studio Tour. I'm Jimmy Fallon. I'll be making sure you get through this experience in one piece. You've got the very best guy, me, Johnny Ray. And the greatest driver. Hey, he's driving. They're the best. I love them. Even though. Owes me five bucks. I know you guys are excited to get on the tour, but first, a few safety rules. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, first, if you need guest assistance, you have a medical emergency, if you've got something to down you off the side of the track, have some of the video issues, you just can't wait to use the restroom, you can't get any tour. Well, if you're in the emergency tour, you just wait for it over your head, so right now, I'll be able to see you in the track. I'll be back to assist you. As soon as it's the same so pretty. Otherwise, the entire tour, these will be the same inside the vehicle at all times. Serious breath of property, so at any time you've got the way to use the restroom, who get caught with your name seated. Please, no smoking, no vaping of any kind. Now, uh, be prepared to turn to many features, loud noises, fire effects, sudden track movements, and many water effects. You want to have your cameras out for great photo opportunities, but keep an eye on them so they don't get wet. And finally, for the safety of those around you, please do not use selfie sticks. Right. Okay. Oh, look at Manny. So, going down the Universal Timeline, make sure you can check it out through the posters on both sides of the trail. Some of the movies we've been through in a hundred plus year history. You see the evolution of the logo on top of the movie posters? Look at Breakfast Club. On your right is Fire Station 51. Right, right, right to that. That's for those of you who did it for the first time. That's a real fire station. It's not fake, it's not fake, it's not a set. That's the real deal. Professionals work here 24 7. We have our own fire station, our own police force, our own bank, post office, zip code. This wow. is Universal City. A studio's found the Carl Lovely in the Great Lake to the US, a little over 100 years ago. He was in Belgium, South London, East Coast. Then uh, moved out west, opened up Universal Studios at this location. And on March 15, 1915, he opened a uh, tour to the public, which he invited guests that you guys. And he called this place the strangest city in the world. 100 plus years later, this is still the strangest city in the world. Welcome to Universal Studios. Welcome to Hollywood. We're about to hit the front lot with our 28 sound stages. What's the sound stage? You see that building off to your left here? It's the voice on it, that sound stage drum. That's a sound stage. It's not like that's where the singing competition show the voice is filmed. Yeah. Wow. We have 28 sound stages. We can create any environment the store demands inside. Now here we are in the nitty gritty of a real motion picture and television studio. This is what it's like to come to work to Hollywood every single day. No more carpets, no glamour, no glitz, no golden globes, Oscars, or Emmys, just a lot of work. And every we we love to celebrate, we love to go to the works, but we're going to do that and to make the product. Everything begins right here. Sound stages to the left, 17, 16, are two of the three sound stages used to film scenes for the comedy superstores from America Ferreira and McDonald's. Superstore takes place in the big store called Town 9. That big store is built inside stages 17, 16, and 21. It says 1917 on the corner and stage 21. The 
see there's a lot of work being done here. Work is done here 24-7 if you don't close. And it's not only about actors, producers, and directors. These trailers here to the left in front of Tony's Funny Box are one of the mobile dressing rooms. Some for hair, makeup, wardrobe, electrical equipment. All the TV shows come here at Universal Studios. Superstore, The Voice, World of Man, which is produced by J-Lo, and Rogers, and Entertainment, Access Hollywood, Good Girls, Will and Grace, Beth and Eve, The Good Place, Kevin Torrance's show, Jody Jump, World's are famous for our movies franchises, like the despicable Me of Hunting's movies, two videos. Look at the shows of life now, the Fast and Furious films. Jurassic Park, now Jurassic World. And of course, the tech world. This time the tech world is there, in front of you, to the left. These movies are funny. Yeah. Not the kids, though. These bungalows to your left, test production offices, and some of the top writers, producers, and directors in all of Hollywood. These bungalows were briefly used as dressing rooms to famous stars and contract with Universal Studios. Icons such as Joel's Jane, James Stewart, Rock Hudson, Lucy Martin. Look at James Stewart Yeah, you see Bungalow 5195, those are the Teleregis company offices. You need a coat on the wall. It was once the office to the great master of suspense. You look at Michael Hitchcock. These are called facades, they're just the front two sides of buildings. Reconstruct what the camera's going to see, your imagination, without even realizing it fills in the rest of the structure. Alright, so this is Brownstone Street. Check out the buildings on your right. Check out this clip from Bruce Almighty. Place the door! I'm in the shower! Ah, it's like that. Outside the Moving to an area that was transformed into a street in uh, Baltimore for the musical Hairspray Live. The future film, starring Michael J. Fox and Christopher Malloy. Take a look to your left, that building at the City Hall over the entrance. That was the famous clock tower. That's where Doc Emmett Brown harnessed the bolt of lightning that sent Marty McFly back into the future in the first film. It was actually the back lot of the courthouse square that inspired the entire climax to Back to the Future. I had scenes up there, the clock tower on that lead. Those leads felt that wide. And I was standing inside, looking at the leads, and I already had the vertigo. I just thought there's no way in the world, no way I'm going to stand on that. That was up to for quite a while. Of course, I had a table. <laughs> <laughs> Now, folks, we reuse these sets over and over and over again. We change your appearance constantly. 
production designer, art director, the people responsible for making these changes. That's why you don't recognize it from one production to the next. These are facades, like I said, are just a fucking salvage. I don't remember the product now. It takes place in the 1700s, early 1800s. And uh, there's a carriage, and there's horses, and stuff. And it's done in that area. When I see it, it's like, wow, it looks so cool on uh, television. I don't remember. I think it's Edinburgh. It's an insurance company. I don't remember what it is. Because it's so cool. But I, don't, I forgot the product. So here we are at the curb. We do have a tram in front of us waiting to go into uh, the attraction. Uh, so far, so good. Everything seems to be working nicely. I can see the cameras there to the left. The Fast and Furious also shot scenes here, a different time period. So, I love this. I love the one over the street. I think this looked like Chicago in the classic comedy The Blues Brothers. Was on TV when I was about eight or nine years old and I wanted to become a filmmaker. I like films that just take you away from your real life and sweep you up in adventure. Cole literally does that. I mean, you're on board the ship, you're sailing to a lost island, you're encountering monsters and creatures from, you know, prehistoric times. So I was thrilled when Universal invited me back to Skull Island and it's great to have you along for the ride. Now we have created this 3D immersive experience so you're going to have to have your glasses ready. Bigger, better, and faster as movie audiences embrace the need for speed. That in right vehicle can make or break a big Hollywood event film. Holds especially true for full throttle movies like The Fast and the Furious, one of Universal Studios' most successful movie franchises ever. Also a uh, picture card. <laughs> All right, uh, the person who pulled the cord. Uh, if it's a medical emergency, pull it again. If it's a medical emergency. Okay, the person who uh, pulled it, raise your hand. Hollywood movie magic right before your eyes. If you've seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Quentin Tarantino's 10th film, starring Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio, a lot of the scenes, this is a western sets of the film right here, Texas sets, yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we're approximately half an hour under the studio tour, so we want to make this an emergency, we have a good emergency for you. Love your hands, but do remain seated. Now, checking out some of the famous cowboys that once mosey on down these main streets. This place is just look at the train station. Yeah, yeah, this super for five stuff is just bone just filled inside. But they're sweet. Oh, it looks very upset. Oh, I talked to him to the guy. That's what you feel like? Yeah, yeah, we're going to That's him. Get over there. Alright. So this is what we call a hot set. It's a fully dressed, it's completely decorated, ready for filming. So as soon as the director yells action, filming can begin or continue, whichever the case may be, alright? There's some signs in the window of home that we had set to not touch and get it with your eyes. Uh oh. The inside of George is in trouble. Here he is. Something big underneath the surface of the water. You look good. show Desperate Housewives, close to the public today. And now we're going up to this road. Why is it called Rose in this road? Because it looks like it's in the middle of nowhere, far away from civilization. And it's exactly what was needed for the horror film Bird Box, starring Sandra Bullock on Netflix. A lot of the scenes with the children who were filmed there, when they left. Right. That's cool. Yeah, who, 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 who knew, right? Right there. There are times when the script calls for uh, something with a lot of imagination, a lot of way more color. And that's exactly what happened with Dr. Seuss's How the Bridge Stole Christmas. I want to show you three out of the many houses that were built for this movie. But before I show you the houses, here's Grinch director Ron Howard. One of the biggest creative challenges that we faced on How the Bridge Stole Christmas is to bring the storybook world of Dr. Seuss to life. Some of the most talented artists in Hollywood worked for months to create a living, breathing movie. When it was all done, they had built an entire city. And the fantasy world of Dr. Seuss came a reality. Yep, and as I promised, here are three out of the many things that have ever been for Dr. Seuss. It's how it works. Star Wars Christmas. <laughs> oh, yeah. There is Tanley as a cactus. You're a bad banana with a greasy black beard. Ah, 
some of the who have much more than just a great story about here on Universal Backlot. Then next door neighbor is Norman Bates. The movie is Psycho. Ladies and gentlemen, here it's one of the most iconic structures still standing in Hollywood today. The Psycho House. The Gates Motel. Movie Psycho was released in 1960, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. So he had the department's very violence of Jenny Lee. Director Alfred Hitchcock's world to now take you through director Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds. The airplane that crashed the site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around the vision of the And for them to sit down and talk about the War of the Worlds, I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in the Because it's, it's just something you don't see. No good. Tom Cruise, the go defending on the stars of War of the Worlds. The thing to your left is a real 747. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about 10 minutes away from the end of the tour. We'll be returning to the theme park shortly. Once again, in case of emergency, we've had emergency court, but you're being seated. Take a look to your right. We have a different setting. The empty space, big blue wall. That whole area can be filled in with water. Turned into a section of the Hudson River in New York. That would be silly. the scene is shot through the process of CGI, computer-generated imagery, you could add any background onto to that big blue wall. It's like a blue screen, a little green, green screen. Here's some uh, movies built in front of that big wall. I thought, what if the 747 right Because it's just something you don't see. Robbie, get in. Get in. Tom Bruce, you've got a penny on the stars of the world of worlds. The plane to your left is a real 747. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about 10 minutes away from the end of the tour. We'll be returning to the theme park shortly. Once again, in case of emergency, we've been emergency court, but we're being seated. Duck Kirk. Pirates of the Caribbean on Strange Times. Hunger Games catching fire. This is a scenario, let's stop. Okay. So we have a high uh, value witness on the train, right? There's a criminal called Owen Shaw after that witness. We want to protect that witness. The good guys want us to protect that witness. Either he or she don't know what it is. 
first, second, third car, fourth car. All right. So we're gonna hide inside this warehouse for a little bit, make sure everything is safe, chill, you know, and then continue our journey. Uh, for those of you here for the first time, no 3D glasses. You don't need the 3D glasses here just yet. All right. So don't put them on yet. I'll let you know exactly when the time comes when to put them on. All right. Because if you put them on night, you can't see anything. You know, just be dark. And whatnot. So this is a well-known street race or party hangout. Go in there. Hope there's a party. <laughs> Wow, it takes like a size of the sky. It's Clouds, trees, this, 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 this. See what's in here.